In this video I'll show you how to darken the sky in a photograph like this. Um, as you can see the exposure for the, uh, the sky is quite good but it's not very dramatic. So what I want to do is outline an area where I will do the equivalent of burning in in the old wet chemical system and uh, actually darken the sky to give a more dramatic effect. I'm going to select the area using the lasso tool which I'm going to use to make a fairly rough cut just above the tree line here and um, most importantly go right the way around the outside of the image to make sure that the uh, the whole of this area is selected. Now what I've also done is put in a feather of 200 pixels on this 6 megabyte image so that the area between the selected area and the unselected area is not so hard. So I found this by experiment to be about right. Here we have the marching ants that show that the area has been uh, selected. Uh, what I'll do now is go up to the enhance menu, do adjust lighting, brightness and contrast, and then I will, when it's finished building the histogram, darken this area down using the normal controls. Seems to be taking a while. Okay, and I'm going to darken it down just by pushing the brightness control down and by looking at the very edge, darken it down just until you see a difference between the two selected and non selected areas and then just back off a little. So I think about 17, maybe 21 is about right there. Uh, do OK. Now we go up to the area at the top and select deselect to deselect this area. And I think next I'll darken this upper cloud here using the same technique and overlay that darkening on the one that I've already done remember to go right the way around the image to select the whole of the area. Again while we're waiting for the marching ants I've left the feather at 200 pixels just to grade the uh, transition between the selected area and the non-selected area. Now I'm sure you remember in the wet uh, method of making photographs that this used to take some time and a lot of trial and error and a lot of processing and in uh, Photoshop it's just so easy you even keep your hands clean. Okay back up to enhance just lighting brightness contrast and again I'm just going to try probably about 21, 22 again and select OK to make the changes. Now I think you can see from the two photographs that this now has a much more dramatic effect in the sky area. I'm just going to go up to select, deselect, and there you go.